Hello, welcome along to another video in this series where I recap psychology studies in roughly 60 seconds. This video is about Kohlberg's 1968 study of moral development. This is a complicated study. So before we get too into the main piece of research, you do need to know some of the background of Kohlberg's morality theory. He said that our sense of right and wrong develops through three levels and six stages, uh, getting progressively more complex as we get older. In level one, our sense of right and wrong is very much around avoiding punishment. We do the right thing because if we don't, we get told off. In stage two or level two, our morality is about social norms and maintaining order. And in level three, our morality becomes more complex and we realise that we not only have to maintain social order, but also look at ourselves in the mirror, a personal contract. He said these uh, levels, so these stages, develop universally across different cultures and his study set out to support that. So I'm going to start the timer and we'll get into the study itself. So the aim of this study was to support his theory of moral development. He mainly studied 75 American boys over a 12 year period, but boys from other cultures were also researched. And in the study, they were presented with moral dilemmas in the form of short stories, such as, would you steal food to feed your starving family? There were also questions about the reasons for their moral choices and the value of human life. For example, is it better to save the life of one important person or a lot of unimportant people? Uh, there were some cultural differences, but generally speaking, in level one, kids obeyed rules to avoid punishment. In level two, they wanted to be liked by others. And in level three, they aim to avoid self-condemnation, see themselves as a good person. These uh, levels were generally seen to be universal across different cultures. This supports the idea of innate morality and, interesting, links to the nature of side of the nature nurture debate there are positives in terms of cross-cultural sampling and detail however this is a very subjective study and obviously there's a lot of gender bias in the sample that was one minute and four seconds by my timer i hope you found it interesting let me know in the comments if you've ever done a bad thing for a good reason level three thinking see you next time